Right, it's time to get stimulated with the help of Skillshare, the sponsors of today's video. So over the last few weeks, I've been trying to get myself in, in better shape. Uh, and, and by in better shape, I mean in any shape. An isosceles triangle, regular triangles, I don't, I don't care. I would just like to have some form of edges. So I did the Chloe Ting challenge. I went on a run, one singular one. And from that, what I've learned is, I don't really like exercising. The whole exercising, having to exert energy in order to get like a physically fitter body. Not a fan of it. So I started thinking, as I occasionally do, is there a way to get rock solid abs and not actually have to work out? And it turns out there is. This is a muscle toning abdominal belt. It uses EMS, electric muscle stimulation. And that's just a fancy way of saying it electrocutes you. I cannot believe we've gotten to the point where I'm, I'm willingly electrocuting myself to avoid exercise. <laughs> and by doing this over and over for a period of time, they claim that it'll give you rock hard abs in the same way that if you just actually went to the gym. <laughs> now I'm very aware that it sounds like a scam and it mainly sounds like a scam because, well, if it was that easy, why doesn't everyone have one? And the simple answer to that is the price. The cheapest one is 115 pounds, which is the price of a three month gym membership. So I figured that in the name of science and content, I would buy one and give it a test run to see if it actually works. Right, now I know I gave a very quick brief introduction to what EMS was earlier, but I figured I'd break down how this belt actually works in a bit more detail. So the belt itself is pre-programmed with a variety of different sessions with different time intervals and different programs to give you different levels of intensity at a time. You can manually adjust the strength of the shocks on either side of the belt by using the buttons in the middle. They go from zero to 150 in strength, which sounds incredibly painful. <laughs> Try walking after that. <laughs> the belt then sends impulses through the conductive gel pads that attach to your skin to target each section of your core muscles. By doing this, it tightens your core muscles and as a result, reduces your waistline. Now the belt says that before you do any before and after pictures, you should do five sessions of 30 to 40 minutes every week for four to six weeks. Now see, the problem with that is that I need a video for this week. So I'm only gonna be doing it for one, one singular week. That's all it gets, one week, to show some level of improvement on my non-existent abs. I mean, the belt itself does claim that it's not just about getting abs, but by tightening your core muscles, it's aiming to improve your posture and help you prevent injury. But let's be real, nobody's buying this to fix their posture. It's about the abs, cold, hard abs. But before I jump into my journey of abdominal stimulation, I thought I would stimulate you with an ad. You guys already know because I've spoken about Skillshare before on this channel. Uh, welcome back boys. We love you. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. It gives you an opportunity to connect with fellow creatives and enter a community of just pure encouragement. Everyone there is so nice. I want to stay there forever in a small bubble never have to talk to anyone in the outside world again. Anyway, moving on. Skillshare has so many different classes that if you're stuck in a creativity funk or you need a new challenge to get yourself feeling motivated, they will have something for you. With that in mind, I took the Instagram worthy photography class by Brandon Wolfel. I think they were one of the first people that I really started following on Instagram because the photos were just just so nice. <laughs> Everything I wished my Instagram could be, but I was never talented enough to pull off. <laughs> so when I found out that Brandon had a class on Skillshare, you best believe I beelined for that. Just straight in the gate. My Instagram game, it's about to just ascent out of the stratosphere. And one of the main reasons why I love Skillshare so much is that because it's curated specifically to help you learn, there's no ads on the site. You can stay focused on what you actually want to do instead of this happening every five minutes. 
if it doesn't roll an ad now, it's gonna be very embarrassing. <laughs> so whether you're looking to fend off boredom or focus on self-care through creativity, or just connect with similarly minded creative people, Skillshare is the place for you. And, cheeky little bonus for you, because so many of you were really keen last time I did an integration with Skillshare, I've managed to negotiate what one would call a banging deal. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description right now will receive a free trial. Free! And then after the free trial, it's only around $10 a month, which is incredible when you consider that there are classes on pretty much anything. So yeah, just give the link in the description a click, a cheeky little and give Skillshare a go. You can learn a new skill, enhance your creativity, and most importantly, you'll be supporting my channel. So, please click the link in the description below. Please. Thank you very much for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Right, here's what happened when I electrocuted myself for a week. The first time I tried the bell, it was a bit of a shock. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? <laughs> because it doesn't feel like how you'd expect it to feel. It doesn't feel like nothing is happening. For starters, the electrocutions, they're not painful, but depending on how high you crank up the strength, it's like tingly knives that tense you, if you see what I mean. Oh, oh, we're on 69, boys. Oh, oh, oh. So I wanted to see how far I could push my limits, um, and I can only, oh, I can only get to level 69, and there's like 150 levels on this. This thing makes me talk like I'm constipated. <laughs> Lovely. Who would have thought that getting electrocuted for abs wouldn't be an enjoyable experience? Couldn't have guessed that. Because I guess what a lot of people think is that this would feel like nothing was happening, but it doesn't. It is a workout. You're just not having to intentionally think about doing anything. Okay, I'm on 76 now, which is a new record. And it does feel a little bit like it's forcing the air out of me. <laughs> just a small amount of less oxygen. Oh, is this what childbirth feels like? Is this... Am I having a child? So the first few times that I wore it, I was really just struggling to adjust to how it feels. It's bizarre. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. It's very, very weird. Okay, so I've just finished this ab session. The pads for some reason just kind of smell a little like burnt and my skin is really itchy. I feel like maybe I went too hard. The pain in my abs, if I tense them, it feels like I've just done a workout which is very bizarre because I've just been sat here watching YouTube for the last 40 minutes. So, I'm not sure if this is a win. <laughs> if, I, if I found the cheat code to abs. After a few days of wearing my belt in kind of like everyday circumstances, I decided to do something that it suggests is on the website and that was where the belt whilst working out. Now, even though one of the main benefits of the belt is that you don't have to work out and it'll still work your abs for you, it did say that the results were significantly accelerated if you use the ab belt whilst muscle training. You're essentially getting double the bang for your buck. You know, two birds, one stone. Or as Peter would have it, two birds, one scone. So everyone, it's time we did a little, a little workout. Exercising whilst being electrocuted. What could go wrong? So the bell is on, it's underneath this. Here we are. We're gonna start on a low level because I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I'm a bit scared. I don't really exercise my abs at the best of times, let alone whilst they're being electrocuted. We're gonna put both sides at 55, which is like a third as high as it can go. Let's let's give it a go. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, no. Oh, that's not, that is not fun. I feel like my whole body's shaking, dude. Oh, that might actually just be because I'm, I'm exercising. It's like, it's like regular exercise, but so much harder. I feel like I don't get a break. Oh my goodness, I think that's the worst thing I've ever felt. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh. I'm deliberately trying to get my feet off camera because I don't want it to end up with another three pixel photo of my toe on wiki feet. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god. I, I can't do any more, I'm gonna vomit. I'm actually gonna vomit. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed already, um, <laughs> please consider subscribing um, because I don't think I'm ever going to truly emotionally recover from that workout. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that was probably the worst workout I ever had to do in my life. It's because there's so much happening that even when you get time to breathe, you don't get time to breathe because the belt kicks in and it's just unbearable. <laughs> At no point do your muscles feel like they are actually relaxing, which I guess will massively accelerate the results, but I'm not convinced it's worth it for the pain. By halfway through the week, I actually started to see a difference. I've been using the belt three times a day on quite a high setting because I wanted to give myself at least a fighting chance of being able to see a difference because, you know, I. I was doing this in a quarter of the recommended time. But already within four days, there was more definition, there was more shape. The thing that I didn't really expect was that there was a lot more pain involved with this. So much pain in lots of different areas. Because you kind of think that your body's just gonna do it for you and it'll be fine. But there were some mornings that I woke up and genuinely could not pull myself out of bed. I had to like roll onto the floor. I just didn't have the ability to use my core to lift myself out of bed because it felt like I had done like a, like a full hardcore workout or maybe just like 60 seconds of planking. That, that would do it. Now by the end of the week, day seven, it was very obvious that something had gone on. My abs felt more defined, they felt firmer, and I generally felt like I had a more dense abdominal area. It's a success, it worked, but I'm still not sold. And the reason for that is even though I got abs in a week without really having to work for them at all, this change is just, it's aesthetic. I've worked out my ab muscles, but got basically none of the benefits of exercise. My heart rate didn't increase, my blood circulation and blood flow didn't increase. I didn't improve my overall fitness and health and cardiovascular strength at all. And that's just the physical stuff. Exercise is incredible at releasing endorphins and dopamine, and these are things that can make you happy. Exercise is really important for your mental health too. And this belt, it doesn't do that. Slender Tone does actually post clinical trials on their website to try and prove the legitimacy of EMS devices. In one clinical trial, the average waist reduction after four weeks was 3.5 centimeters, which is just over an inch. In another, after four weeks, 100% of the users reported firmer and more toned abs. 72% noted increased abdominal endurance and 54% said that it helped improve their posture. Now, whilst that all sounds great, there are a number of reasons that we should be skeptical of this. One is that Slender Tone is posting these clinical trials on their website as proof that the device works. But that doesn't mean that there are no clinical trials that disprove that this works. It just means that Slender Tone have very select Selectively chosen the ones that benefit the selling of their product. So we have to be skeptical on that front and do a little bit of our own research. Another reason that we have to be skeptical is because when I looked through these clinical trials, a lot of them used methods of data collection that involved self-report. Now self-report is where the participant in the trial, which you know would be me if I was the one testing this belt out, reports on themselves. They say, tick, I felt this, tick, I felt that, and there's no real actual intervention from the researchers conducting the study. But the problem with self-report methods of data collection is that they're prone to participant bias. So the person themselves will report what they think the researcher wants them to report. So if they're using a belt that is supposed to tone your abs, they're probably gonna want to say that it toned their abs because they think that that's what they want to prove in the study. Now, I'm not saying that we can never trust self-report. We should just be a little bit skeptical when the results come from self-report rather than an independent test, like an abdominal endurance test. For example, seeing how long the participants could plank before and after the four weeks of using the belt. So yes, you can get abs. And yes, this belt does work. But the problem is, is that all you're gaining is an aesthetic. You're not getting any of the benefits really that are associated 
with the exercise that usually comes with getting those abs. And for me, I think that makes this not really the best option. I don't actually feel like I have achieved anything. There's no sense of satisfaction where you feel like you've worked towards a goal and wow, I've done that for me. I've just stuck on a belt and electrocuted myself. <laughs> However, if you're gonna use this belt in tandem with regular exercise or you're gonna use it to maintain on your off days from the gym, I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great alternative to just help maintain your muscles and that's not so bad. But as a substitute to going for the gym, well, <laughs> it's not really a good idea. So. Let me know down below, would you give this belt a go? Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you not? Why? Tell me. I will be grading your answers. You will be marked on spelling, punctuation, and grammar. So make sure you proofread that comment before sending it. Don't wanna be marked down now, do you? If you like the video, give it a cheeky little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's a free world, you do you boo. A massive thank you to the angels over at Skillshare for sponsoring me once more. There is a link in the description, don't forget to press it. Let me know what classes you're doing. I will sign up to them too. We can be, we can be class buddies. We can join in creative harmony. But it is only for the first 1,000 people that click the link, so make sure you get on it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you fancy subscribing, please do. I'm desperate for attention. And I'll see you in the next one. Kisses to your mother. I can't feel my face, no. Faking on a Sunday I can't feel my face